Today, over 2 million packages will get delivered here in New York City, but 90,000 of them are gonna get stolen. That's a big problem, but the city's got a new plan to stop people from stealing packages without having to arrest anyone. How is that gonna work? 90,000 packages in the city are lost or stolen every day. And if you had the bad luck of having one of your packages taken, you know just how frustrating it could be. The NYPD says this Amazon employee walked right up these steps right here and picked up packages that were already on the porch. Victims stand to lose more than birthday cards and paychecks. I have a neighbor whose insulin was stolen. We had ordered a couple of brand new iPhone 15s. More victims have reached out from Jamaica to Bayside. They say the post Post office didn't offer fraud protection or even give word their mail was gone. Okay, so 90,000 packages a day. When I saw this headline, I thought it was fake news, but apparently package theft in New York is on the rise. And it's not showing any signs of slowing down. And that makes sense. Since 2020, online shopping is way up. And sadly, in-store shoplifting is also way up since then. And that's why when you go to a drugstore, pretty much everything is locked up behind the glass. But the problem for New Yorkers is porch pirates have figured out they can get something way more valuable than a jug of Tide detergent. And that's because the pack Packages getting delivered to apartments can be potentially way more valuable. Sometimes you hit the jackpot, other times it's a nose hair trimmer. But over the last few months, the city's been rolling out a plan to combat these insane levels of package theft using publicly accessible lockers that anyone can get to 24 hours a day, anyone including potential package thieves. But not only are we gonna go over this crime-proof locker program and see if these machines are actually gonna protect your stuff, we're also gonna see what you can do to prevent package theft the old-fashioned way, which still kind of works. But first, it's important to understand that package theft has gotten so bad that criminals are now upping the ante and stealing things like mail directly from the post office. This has got residents frustrated, people upset, and the U.S. Department of Transportation estimates that 33 million packages a year are stolen across the entire country. They get stolen from porches, unattended lobbies, and apartment entryways. And the thing about New York that compounds this problem is most people here live in an old building that doesn't really have any security whatsoever. And even in buildings that have security, sometimes the doorman goes out to lunch. On top of that, the average household in the city gets one delivery every single week, and 20% of households get four or more deliveries every single week. But again, because shoplifting is such a problem in New York, as people find less and less of what they want in stock, or frustratingly in stock, but behind a locked cabinet or refrigerator, that number of people who get more than one delivery a week is only going to increase. Look at this beauty aisle. Glass, 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 just this little area is all that you can get to. It's a downward spiral as more and more stuff gets locked up to keep it from getting stolen. The in-store experience just gets more frustrating. More deliveries will go online and that's where the package thieves come in. And as you're about to see the way New Yorkers are stuck living in these tiny little apartments, this unfortunately makes us the perfect target for criminals. Now the biggest problem with New York when it comes to package theft is these apartments. They are the problem. The city's got over 8 million residents all living in tiny little box apartments right next to each other. This window right here is one entire apartment right next to the front door. And because you got a lot of apartments and because they're all very tiny, you've got to understand that the people living in places like this, they're not staying here for decades on end. A lot of people will rent a place and they'll be there for one year, maybe two years, and then they move out, which means if a criminal is consistently robbing the same building, they're gonna have new victims every single month. And once those people finally figure out what's happening, they're gonna move out and get replaced by somebody else. And since penalties for stealing in New York are relatively light, critics would say that there aren't a lot of consequences in place to deter what we're about to witness. Go ahead and take a look at this video because this is surveillance video. They say it captured the female Amazon worker getting out of an Amazon truck to deliver packages, but then she ended up taking packages that were already at the doorstep and then once she was back at the company okay i guess it just adds insult to injury when the person walking up your steps to deliver your package is also the person who intends on stealing it. And what's crazy is even when the package thief isn't the person delivering the package, apartment buildings typically get their deliveries around the same time every single day. And the problem is if a criminal knows when packages get delivered, they know when to be there to pick them up before the residents. But if a thief gets into a building like this and there's packages in the lobby, how do they know for sure that what they're stealing will have value to them? Like what if the thing that they end up taking is something they can't use? What do they do? 
We got an email from the original store that we ordered the items that it was returned to their store and an electronic gift card was issued to whoever returned it. So they got the gift card, they got the money. Exactly. That's crazy. So thief steals a package, it's an expensive dress for a wedding, and what do they do? They contact the dress company, they return it, and get store credit. That's vicious. Oh. Now, of course, with Amazon, it's considerably harder to do this because if you want to return something, it's connected to your account. But sadly, in this city, criminals have figured out they can sell pretty much anything on the street if the price is low enough. This is either stuff that wasn't locked up in a drugstore or stuff that was delivered in a package. And since penalties for theft in this city are so slim, thieves are upping the ante and stealing actual mail. But even though that's a federal offense, they don't seem to care. And that's why residents have been begging the city to do something. green mailboxes on her corner has been targeted yet again. We first brought you the exclusive video this summer showing multiple mid-afternoon thefts on 23rd Avenue at 21st Street. Okay, so it seems like they're not robbing the trucks, at least not yet anyways. They're going after these relay boxes. U.S. mail, storage box. There's a little keyhole right here. To be honest with you, I didn't think these were still used for anything. But apparently there's mail in there and residents are sending letters places and they're not showing up. And if you see over here, We've got the postal carrier. They probably need to access these boxes when they have too much mail in their little cart. And with all the tiny apartments around here, just think of how much mail is inside these versus in other parts of the country. Again, criminals paradise. It's horrible to say that, but it's true. But hopefully this is something the new lockers can prevent. Either way, the people that are robbing these, they might employ some of the same tactics to get into the lockers. We'll have to see. One guy was dressed up as a postal worker. And it makes sense that residents are terrified and upset. Identity theft is also top of mind. More victims have reached out from Jamaica to Bayside. They say the post office didn't offer fraud protection or even give word their mail was gone. We recommend dropping it off directly to the post office. Wow, it's crazy how there's just zero accountability from the post office. They're like, yeah, mail got stolen. What can you do about it? And in today's day and age, if your personal information falls into the wrong hands, it can be devastating financially. Now, all eyes are on the green boxes and their vulnerable locks. USPS will be installing 49,000 electronic locks to replace traditional postal keys. That might work, but a criminal might be able to wedge something in here and just pry this thing open. Or if it rusts enough, they could just reach in there and take what they want without even picking the lock. But now that we know how bad the problem is of package theft, and mail theft here in the city. Let's go see what the new solution looks like a few months after it's been in operation. Is it working? pretty cool. And it's essentially just a little room full of Amazon lockers, except they're not Amazon lockers. They're called go lockers. These things seem pretty secure. There's like, there is no way to get these open. No way. They've got to pop open from the machine. And even though this place is completely unmonitored by any person, I had to download this app and give it all my personal information and tell it I had a package with a valid tracking number just to open the door and get in. What that essentially means is anybody who opens the front door, there's a record of who they are, what time they came in, and there's a little camera right up there that's watching. So they know exactly who you are if you come in here and do anything stupid. Unless an enterprising hooligan decides to bypass the old school lock. But even then, what's the guarantee one of these has a package waiting to go out or waiting to get picked up? You would literally have to raid every single one of these things and they're pretty tough to open. So I don't think criminals are gonna be interested in this. And the cool thing is you can find these in more places than just this little storefront. Imagine if you could grab a bagel from one of your favorite spots or grab a carton of milk and then and pick up a package. It's a win-win for both of us. At Old Brooklyn Bagel Shop in Park Slope, you can knock out those two birds with one stone. You know, what's cool about that, even though it's different than where we are now, which is an off-site suite, part of the pilot program, having one of these in like a deli or a grocery store or a place that busy New Yorkers have to go anyways, maybe even in the subway, that would be great because now it saves you a ton of time and you know that your stuff is inside one of the lockers waiting for you. When the customers come in, they put in something, I need a bagel. And there you go. It's called Go Locker, a way to combat those porch pirates, because if being caught on camera won't stop them, maybe this will. There are 
are a handful of them in bodegas, malls, and convenience stores throughout the five boroughs, and two standalone locations with 24-hour access. And you know what's interesting about this is you keep hearing about how online shopping is the death of like retail stores and storefronts, but if you put these in retail stores and storefronts, now people have a reason to go to those and do business, which wouldn't have happened before. It's better for the businesses, it's better for the customers. Very interesting. I thought this was gonna be a stupid idea, but so far, so good. And look at that horrible apartment building across the street. That place probably gets robbed every five minutes. But now the people living there can pay their landlord five grand a month for a tiny little apartment because they got this across the street. Isn't that great? New York is back, baby. Now the cool thing is these are actually free for New York City residents. Typically, GoLocker charges a fee for you to use these, but since they launched this last summer, they've been opening up about 15 of these standalone locations. And instead of billing the customers, GoLocker has some deal worked out with UPS, FedEx to get them to pay to drop stuff off here. It says in their press release that the goal is to reduce the number of trips package delivery companies have to make. That would probably save them money. The membership through the pilot is free with mail carriers covering the cost. 90,000 packages in the city are lost or stolen every day, and that's all driving up costs. Which gets passed back onto the consumer, so relatively, you're still paying for it, maybe not directly. You just set the- So the interesting thing about this is, unlike Amazon that has their own locker system and their own delivery service, UPS, FedEx, DHL, any carrier, they don't have any of that stuff. And they need a system like this in order to offer people the same convenience and make sure their stuff doesn't get jacked. And this is really secure. You can't do anything without a code or something. If you wanna pick something up, boom, you gotta scan it and then it'll tell you which locker. So there's no way to know right now which lockers have stuff in them and which ones don't. But the thing that's kind of worrisome about this is let's say you have something very valuable in here and you come here late at night. I don't know if there's weirdos or something hanging out across the street. There's not really any privacy. You can totally see what people are doing inside here. So that could be a security risk. But what if you've got something really big and heavy like a flat screen TV? That's not gonna fit in one of these lockers. What do you do with it? There's no way you're gonna fit anything of substance in here that's not like a square rectangle type thing. And what that essentially means is although this might be convenient for very small things like a nose hair trimmer or like an Apple iPad or something, if it's big, it's still gonna have to go to your apartment and that means it could still end up getting stolen. But now let's see what you can do to stop package theft in your apartment. Okay, so the thing that I like the most about this is that this building has a long, narrow hallway. Look at how far it is from the front door over to where this package is. It's also very well lit, very clean, and nobody who's out on the street will be able to see any of the packages that get delivered because they're brought over here by the mailboxes. And before we talk about other tips that might work, a clean, bright, well cared for building is the first step. Let's say you had a building where the front door was literally right here next to the packages. Somebody could just look inside, see something, and decide to get in, take it. And also, you see how there are no packages here? It goes without saying that if your stuff is all over the floor for multiple days on end, it could be inadvertently taken by a neighbor who thinks it's theirs. Somebody could see it, maybe on their way out of the building, maybe another delivery person by chance. But in addition to your apartment right here, there are 19 other apartments and you guys can team up to keep an eye out for each other and make sure that you don't take somebody else's stuff they don't take yours, and if the person across the hall has a package, just let them know, hey, you got a package. Or you could put it in front of their door. I wanna take a look at some of the figures on how people plan to prevent package theft. 32% are gonna use package tracking technology, 21% will be relying on home security cameras, and 19% will be asking a neighbor to watch the house or collect packages for them. Okay, so according to the news, 21% have a home security system that can keep an eye on their porch and on their front door. Here you you could do that because we're ground floor and you could have a little camera that shows you what's going on out there. But even while a little doorbell type camera here might be somewhat helpful, some buildings are starting to put in things like Amazon lockers where they might have empty space, but there's not a whole lot of empty space here, so I don't think that's coming. And if you do live in a place where a package goes missing, if that happens, 
tell the landlord and leave a note in the area where the package was taken from. That way somebody might see the note and return it because they grabbed it by accident. And my particular building, the super, had a new cleaning person take their place and there were a bunch of packages in the lobby and you know what they did? They brought them all down to the basement. Everybody thought their stuff got stolen just because it was missing. So it could also be something very similar, but had those packages been picked up as soon as they were dropped off, nobody would have had to deal with any of that confusion. What do you think the best tip is for package theft? Do you think New York City's on the right track with these lockers? Should they expand them? Should they get rid of them? Are criminals gonna start robbing them? Are we gonna see videos of that soon? Let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.